Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. When I first set out to do this video, it was going to be a history of the Cub Scout knife. You know, who's made them over the years, when they were made, so on and so forth. The video quickly went in a different direction, however. What I instead ended up talking about was at what age a Cub Scout earns the right to carry this pocket knife and uh, what he needs to do in order to uh, carry it and how that has changed over the years. So still important information about the Cub Scout knife and a little bit of information about the Cub Scout program and also some information that can help a parent when thinking about should my son or daughter have a pocket knife yet? Because uh, the Cub Scouts actually lay out some pretty good information about what it takes, the responsibilities that come along with having a pocket knife. And so I think the uh, video is still kind of worthwhile, even though it doesn't actually talk about the history of when these knives were made and who made them. That video will wait for another day. When a person joins the Cub Scouts, um, they begin as a bobcat and they will learn a pledge and a few other things and then uh, move on into the uh, category of a wolf and they will work on their wolf merit badge uh, during their first year as a Cub Scout. And this usually happens when they're nine years old. During their second year, they're working towards their bear merit badge. And um, it's during this year when they're 10 years old that they can also earn the whittling chip this is actually sewed on one of the pocket flaps if they, uh, if they so desire to earn the whittling chip. In order to do this, the parents have to sign a permission slip. Uh, the Cub Scout has to pass a, um, a knife safety course, and then they have to actually make something, you know, whittle something out of, uh, out of some kind of medium. Normally the medium is soap, so you end up with things like this. It's supposed to be a shark. Um, to be honest, uh, I only worked on it for about 15 minutes. And, um, and that's usually what you end up with, with the boys also, something of this nature once they're finished. It isn't how well they actually can whittle or anything that determines if they get the whittling chip. What, um, determines if they get the whittling chip is that they can do this safely and that they've passed the safety program. And once they uh, have the whittling chip, then they've also earned the right to have a pocket knife uh, as a Cub Scout. And that happens during the bear year now. However, it used to happen during the uh, wolf year. Actually, uh, looking at this um, 1943 uh, wolf cub book, uh, it looks like they expected boys to already know how to whittle before they even got into the Cub Scouts. We see here in the Wolf Cub Handbook from 1943 on page 44, under Farm and Home Tools, demonstrate, use, and care of own knife. Whittle a paper knife, or a willow whistle, or harness pegs. Prepare place for family tools and keep them in place and care for them. So even as early as, uh, or as late as 1943, they were expecting these Cub Scouts, or the Cubs at that time, to actually know how to use a knife when entering the Cub Scouts. That's a little bit different than today. And then on page 73, we see other handicraft. Make handicraft article, whittling, carving, cabinet work, metal, leather, etc and they show a soap sculpture. So even back in uh, 1943, they were still dealing with soap. On the other side, we see here uh, leather uh, showing how to make a wallet and such. And we see uh, a nondescript scout knife. Obviously, it doesn't match any scout knife uh, in use at the time, just a two-bladed knife because of the, the two blades that you would need to work with leather. So you see the punch up here and then the, just the regular main blade. Um, 
that's the closest thing you have to a picture of a scout knife in this uh, 1943 Wolf Cub book. Moving up to 1964, we see the new Wolf Cub Scout book. And uh, we see on page 29, uh, Whittling Achievement number 5. Ask your dad if he had a jackknife when he was your age. He can show you how to keep your knife clean and shiny and sharp. Ask him what he made with his jackknife. Maybe he'll help you make something too. Show that you know how to take care of and use a jackknife. Make something with it. Mother or dad sign here. And they show uh, proper jackknife care down here below. Um, and you notice they're just showing uh, the blade of a... Cub Scout knife, we don't know what kind, but by this time, they were definitely having um, the Cub Scout knives in their hands. Moving on to page 30, starting at the top, we show them uh, how to use an oil stone, how to clean and sharp edge, uh, and then how to make neckerchief uh, slides uh, using your carving uh, or using your jackknife and just how to carve with it and such. So it's kind of cool. Um, and that was during the uh, wolf year or when the boys were nine years old. And as you can tell, it was almost this, like the kids were expected to already know how to use a jackknife by that time. And uh, back in the 1960s, indeed, by nine years old, most kids had had a uh, knife in their possession. Today's Cub Scouts, however, cannot actually uh, work towards the whittling chip patch um, during their wolf years. They have to do it during their bear year or sometime after that. Uh, and it has to be with their parents' permission, which is rightfully so. Even in the beginning, it still had to be with parents' permission. Uh, parents had to sign off on any kind of uh, project like this with, uh, with the cubs, even in the very beginning. Um, but today, it's when the, the Cub Scout is in his bear year or when he's 10 years old that he actually goes through knife safety courses and uh, has to prove that he can use a knife safely and care for the knife before he can actually get the uh, knife. So a little bit of difference and I guess that has to do with uh, going from an agrarian society where kids were learning how to use knives when they were probably six or seven years old uh, to today when um, boys aren't even allowed to buy a knife until they're 18. So that's probably the difference uh, and why it's much more difficult for a boy to um, get the knife today simply because um, they're not trusted with a knife um, at an earlier age. And maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. But with the Cub Scouts, it's the barrier and uh, that's when they get their whittling chip. And interesting enough, um, when the uh, Cub Scout is earning his whittling chip, well, he doesn't have this knife yet, so he can't actually use this knife to whittle anything. And typically, he will use something like this, a woodworking set. This one's by Rough Rider. And um, it has the proper blades for whittling and stuff. And uh, even if you're not into uh, the Cub Scouts, if you're thinking of teaching your... Um, son or daughter how to use a knife or how to whittle, uh, I would strongly suggest uh, following the Cub Scout guide and uh, go over knife safety according to what the Cub Scouts have out there and then uh, purchase something like this, uh, a nice little woodworking set for your child and then have them uh, carve a wonderful fish for you or something so that you too can have something this precious for you forever. Okay, well, your, your child will probably do a better job than this, but um, teach them on something like a woodworking set. And once they've uh, mastered that, then think about picking them up a pocket knife. Um, the Cub Scouts, they, said they go with an age of 10 years old, but you should know your own child and you should know if they're able to handle something of this. And um, go for it from there. And as a parent, use your best judgment. You'll know when your child is ready for his or her first pocket knife or woodworking set or any other kind of uh, 
object like this um, and make sure that when they have it they are also using their best judgment when using it and that they treat it properly and with the proper respect that it deserves. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to keep him. I'm going to name him Oscar. This is the Whitling chip card that Cub Scouts are awarded once they've completed their safety course and have uh, shown that they know how to use a knife safely. The following slides provide a lot of knife safety information that DIN leaders use to determine if a Cub Scout deserves uh, the Whitling chip. It's good solid knife safety information that any parent could use and uh, help them determine if a child should own a uh, pocket knife themselves. I'll include the information in the comments below so if a parent is thinking about if their child should have a pocket knife or not, you can also just copy and paste it out of the comments for future reference. General pocket knife safety information. The blood circle. Pocket knife safety rules. Handling a pocket knife. Taking your pocket knife with you. As for the paper knife, well, I really wasn't sure what it was either, but it isn't a knife made of paper. It's actually a knife made of wood that is used to cut paper. Essentially, it's a type of uh, letter opener. I found instructions on how to make a paper knife in the How Book of Cupping from 1941. And so now you too can make a paper knife if you wish. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats, and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.